Hello and welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have another chess classic we are going to watch. This one was played in 1863 between Alexander Steinkuller, who was playing with white, and Joseph Blackburn, who was playing with black pieces. You probably heard about Blackburn before. He's one of the strongest players in the late 19th century and the inventor of the famous Blackburn Schilling Gambit. I will just quickly show you how this Blackburn Schilling, uh, Schilling Gambit goes. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and after bishop c4, you sacrifice your knight and you sacrifice actually your pawn here on uh, e5 and if uh, white decides to accept you play a tricky queen g5 right now this pawn is hanging the best continuation is bishop picking up this pawn on f7 after that king goes on d8 castle for white queen takes on e5 c3 for white attacking this knight knight e6 d3 for white knight e7 and after bishop h5 uh, black is doing slightly better uh, just wanted to show you this famous trick so after uh, queen g5 if you decide to pick up with your knight there is all sort of trickery you are falling into trap with uh, queen picking up on g2 and if you decide to save your rook and play something like um, uh, rook to f1 we have queen picking up on uh, uh, e4 with the check and then if you make a mistake and you play bishop e2 we have knight f3 checkmate you probably saw this trap uh, before it it is a really famous trap just wanted to show you uh, also our game didn't go this way but finished in one of the prettiest checkmates you've ever seen uh, i know i always say this on my videos that uh, you always seen the prettiest checkmate but this is a really special so uh, i'm sure you will enjoy it so Alexander Steinkuller opened the game with e4 and Blackburn replied with e5. Game continued with knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4 and bishop c5 for uh, Blackburn. This is Italian game. Our game continued with c4. This is the main line of the Italian opening. Knight f6 for black. d4 was played for white. e taking on d4, c takes on d4 and bishop b4 was played for black. Pretty standard. Uh, moves in the chess theory of this opening right now white decided to play bishop d2 and immediately after bishop picking up on e2 check uh, white makes a mistake and he picks up with knight f to d2 uh, this bishop unfortunately this, this leaves this pawn unprotected uh, we have to have in mind that this was played in uh, 1863 and uh, much of the chess opening wasn't so uh, clear at this time also uh, Black Blackburn uh, played many games blindfolded and he played simultaneous exhibitions because he was really good so this just might be one of those uh, games here so after this mistake Black picks up this pawn and our game continued with castle for white and d6 was played for Black uh, white continues with knight b3 right now offering the trade Black accepts and after queen picking up on b3 our game continued with castle for uh, for Black Rookie one was played for white, obvious move to protect this pawn. And right now, knight h5 was played for Blackburn with the idea to put this queen on g5 square and to create some sort of checkmate threat with knight jumping on f4. White decided to play e5 to open this e-file if the trade happens. If not, white will simply continue his development. Blackburn refuses to take this and he plays queen g5. Game continued with e taking on d6 and right now Blackburn creates a threat with knight f4. Uh, white now decided to create a counter attack and he picks up this pawn with a bishop taking on f7. This is also a trick by Blackburn because right now this f file has opened and is ready to uh, strike on f2 square. Right now obviously Blackburn doesn't want to pick up this uh, bishop because uh, this would be a checkmate. I just wanted to show you in case you pick up this uh this bishop then white has a rook e8 a checkmate so after bishop picking on f7 king h8 was played our game continued with g3 to protect the checkmate threat c taking on d6 for blackburn and white continues his uh, his development with a knight c3 right now knight h3 was played for blackburn check king g2 and now blackburn plays queen f6 right now this bishop is under attack 
uh, this knight is protected and right now uh, white is in sort of trouble because if he decides to remove his bishop then this uh, pawn will be very weak and it will create an attack on the uh, king's wing uh, white calculated that this is fine because he will be able to defend but he was very wrong and he plays bishop d5 with the idea to save his uh, to save his piece game continued with queen f2 for blackburn king h1 is forced and right now we are in the critical part of the game where blackburn finds a beautiful sacrifice with queen g1 check there is no other moves you have to pick up with your rook after that blackburn continues with knight f2 check and after king g2 which is forced blackburn finishes the game with beautiful bishop h3 and uh you will agree that this is one of the prettiest checkmates you've ever seen truly an amazing an amazing masterpiece on the chessboard really impressive by blackburn uh, also i wanted to show you some other lines that are possible here so after king h1 of course this uh wouldn't be that pretty as as this line here so after king h1 instead of going uh queen g1 check you can play uh bishop g4 to try and threaten this square here and if white plays something like uh b5 uh knight b5 you can continue with rook a to e8 and after queen c3 to protect this rook after rook taking on e1 check rook taking on e1 again we have a beautiful sacrifice with queen f1 check after rook picks up this rook will pick up on f1 with check king g2 is the only remaining square and rook g1 is a checkmate so this is just another line i wanted to share with you again amazing checkmate but not as pretty as the in the original game of course and this was all i prepared for you today if you enjoyed this game please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video it really helps me a lot also give me your suggestions for future games and as always we will see each other in the next video thank you so much for watching and have a nice evening bye bye